Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to go through different types of numbers questions solved from IGCAC paper 3. Before we move forward, let's have a quick review of the different types of numbers. Square numbers are 1 multiplied by 1, 1. So 1 is a square number. 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 4 is a square number. 3 multiplied by 3, 9 is a square number. Square root, so square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 9 is 3. Cube numbers are when numbers are multiplied by itself 3 times. So 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Cube root of 1 is 1. Cube root of 8 is 2. Cube root of 27 is 3. Integers are all positive and negative whole numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that are only in one times table and itself. 2 is the only even prime number. Rational numbers are all numbers that can be written as a fraction including decimals and recurring decimals. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. Example, pi square root 2 square root 5. In another video, I have given a detailed description about all the different types of numbers. Kindly have a look at it. These questions are from IGCSE paper 3. Question number 1. Write down a square number between 30 and 40. You know that square numbers are numbers multiplied by itself. So which number when we multiply by itself will be between 30 and 40? 6 times 6 is 36. A2, the number 3 million 330 in figures. A very easy one mark. 3 million 330. The next cube number after 64. We get 64 if we multiply 4 times 4 times 4. So the next cube number is going to be 5 cube, which will be 125. The 5 factors of 16. Which numbers when we multiply, we get 16. So 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. So the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. A common multiple of 6 and 8. Whenever they ask you a common multiple, you can just multiply the numbers by itself. 6 times 8, 48. A prime number between 20 and 30. So prime numbers are 23 and 29. Moving on to the next question. Find the value of the square root of 19044. In the calculator, write it like this. and You will get the answer is 138. 2 to the power of 7. Put it in the calculator and you will get 128. B. N is an integer and 120 is less than N and it, N is less than 140. So n has to be between 120 and 140. Find the value of n when it is a multiple of 45. You can write and check 45 multiplied by 2, 45 multiplied by 3, whichever number comes between 120 and 140. The answer is 45 times 3 is equal to 135. A square number. This also you can put in the calculator and check. 9 square, 10 square, and the answer you will get is 11 multiplied by 11, which is 121. A factor of 402. Divide 402 by 2 by 3 and check what answer you get, and it's the number in between our limits. So 402 divided by 3 will give us 134. You can keep checking till you get an answer. You can keep dividing. Always use your calculator to figure out the answer. 
a cube number, which is between here. In the previous question, we saw that 5 cube is equal to 125. We can do that. But suppose if you didn't know, try all the numbers, right? 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube, till you get your answer. So 5 cube is equal to 125. C, work out the value of this equation. Whenever you have something like that, put in the calculator, the numerator separately and the denominator separately. When we do that, we will get it's equal to negative 24 and then put the denominator in the calculator, you will get negative 1. So negative 24 divided by negative 1 is 24. D, estimate the value of this equation that they have given us by rounding each number in the calculation to one significant figure. Okay, and you have to show all your work by filling in the calculation below. 19.2. If I round it to the first number, it will become 20. Square root 8.64. If I round this, because 6 is bigger than 5. If you have a number 5 or more than 5, you add 1 to the previous number. So it will become 9. 31 will be 30 and 6.32 will be 6. Now when we put this in the calculator, we will get 12. B. Find the smallest multiple of 7 that is greater than 100. Instead of guessing, just write down the multiples till you get a number that is greater than 100. 7, seven times uh, 12 is 84. 7 times 14 is 98. 7 times 15 is 105. So this is the smallest multiple of 7 that is greater than 100. The largest cube number that is less than 100. Again, write in the calculator and check. 4 cube is 64. 5 cube is 125. So which is the largest cube number that is less than 100? 64. The 6 factors of 45. 1 times 45 will give us 45. 3 times 15 will give us 45. And 5 times 9 will give us 45. So our 6 factors are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. An irrational number between 6 and 7. Whenever you want to find an irrational number between two numbers, write these numbers as square numbers. So 6 square, sorry, 7 square is 49, and 6 square is 36. After this, you write the numbers as square root. So square root 36 and square root 49. Any number between square root 36 and square root 49 in the square root form will be an irrational number. So you can write square root 37 or square root 38, square root 39, etc. They are all irrational numbers. I hope this video has been a help to you. If it has, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also share it with your friends so even this can help them. I'll keep posting more videos based on the questions from the IGCSE past papers. Thank you very much.